So my very first game in the new season, the Cove season, of course, is against the guy that was in the World Series last one. Look at his stacking. He's got that uh, that Paul Goldschmidt. I'm actually using all breakout players this game, guys. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the beginning of the ranked seasons. I'm going to try to c complete both the Doug Drayback and the Nelson Cruz breakout programs. That's what I would like to do. I would like to complete those things, get some other things going on, complete some of these other things in some of the programs. So I can get um, some, you know, some other cards. I want to get that Lou Brock card, to be completely honest with you. So <laughs> this guy, um, I have to say this is probably the most impatient hitter I've ever seen. And, and I checked to see if he was a World Series uh, award, award winner, a division winner. Well, you know what I'm saying. If he got to the World Series. And his uh, he had wound up ending last season at an 885, which makes me believe that he probably did get to the World Series and lost a few games. So I do believe his Goldschmidt, he actually earned, he did not actually buy it off the marketplace afterwards. So this is a solid, solid player. I looked at his stats. Overall, they're really, really good. So I don't know, maybe he just had a bad game against me. I don't know. Um, but he ha I have to say, this guy took like zero pitches. Maybe he's better against guys who throw hard, but I'm, I'm throwing out Doug Steve here. I mean, Doug Steve is to me. Dave Steve. <laughs> Doug Steve. Who the hell is Doug Steve? Dave St Steve here. And uh, he was just like pretty much swinging at everything. I think I only wound up getting like two strikeouts this entire game with my uh, team here. But uh, it's, it's not bad. Uh, this breakout team is actually not that bad. I have a, a few diamonds on the team, and there was a couple spots like here, Jose Ramirez, where I didn't have a shortstop. I didn't have anyone that was eligible to play shortstop for a breakout player, and he rips a double. I l absolutely love this Jose Ramirez card. I'm actually liking it more than the Trey Turner card, mainly because he's a switch hitter. The switch hitting helps can help out an absolute ton, especially when you're facing some uh, some tough, like some really tough righties. Good against them, although he's a Trey Turner's a solid card. And this, ugh, I was like, come on, bro. I had like perfect contact on this. Look at this. Look at that shit. Come on, give me a break. Give me a damn break. So we got Alex Gordon up here right now, and this card I absolutely freaking love. I don't know. I felt really good about this. This at bat, I felt like something big was going to happen with Alex Gordon here. I was like, just be patient. Just be patient and make this guy throw some pitches. And at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to actually sit on a low fastball here. This is what I'm waiting on. He throws it to me. I'm going to freaking power swing and bash it. It's exactly what I did with uh, Mr. Flash Gordon over here. I know that's not Flash Gordon. That's actually D. Gordon's daddy was known as Flash Gordon. I know that shit. I know it. Look, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful contact. Power swing. Just delicious things happen. And I'm able to rip one down the line here with Corey Dickerson, who's also, a, well, this is breakout Corey Dickerson. Like I said, I'm trying to do the, the Nelson Cruz and the Doug Drayback um, breakout program. So my starting staff is all breakout pitchers, which means they aren't very good. They're really not that good. The starting pitchers, uh, breakouts really aren't that great. And they all have um, mustaches. <laughs> I think the only one in my rotation that does not have a mustache is Ricky Nolasco. Pretty sure he's my... Uh, my fifth starter, but this is the first game, like I said, I played in Cove. I only played one game so far, and uh, for you guys who didn't see my last video, if you want to know who I got from the Championship Series pack, if you didn't see that video, I actually wound up getting Dellen Batances and Christian Yelich, but with, I have both of those, so I wound up selling them both, and I wound up selling them for 60, no, what was it, I think like 61k total. So what what's what's the I probably made like fifty five thousand profit on that which isn't bad so I'm sitting here with like sixty eight thousand profit in my um, well sixty eight thousand stubs in my uh, bank here which I don't know what to do with it I want to buy Corey Seager but he actually went up in value which is unfortunate and I'm able to I actually power swing on this one power swing listen to me power swung on this one I was able to uh, get double if he threw it a second he probably had a chance to throw me out but he decided to throw the cut up there which was quite quite silly but it just wasn't this guy's game and I kind of I wouldn't I wouldn't say I felt badly but you know Gordon just rips another single he's just a monster this Gordon card he has he's absolutely kills right-handed pitching he's actually pretty decent against left-hand pitching as well and this Corey Dickerson card I like as well man I made sure to get this in my um in my lineup when I was thinking about the breakout players, this is the one that I want because he crushes right-hand pitching. And this guy was getting a little predictable. I was actually waiting for that outside fastball, and I just so happened to miss it. And then he he throws me a slider inside here, and I had a feeling he was going to come back with a uh, with some hard stuff. I was I was thinking he was going to actually go away though, and he winds up coming inside. I believe if I if I remember this correctly, he comes inside. I think he actually beats me, but 
can, since we're in the World Series, not the World Series, the Wild Card right now, it's on All Star, and when you're on All Star, you get a lot more BS hits like this, like just late opposite field, which I'm pretty sure this turned out to be. I don't, I don't see the feedback here. And the very next pitch, <laughs> Anthony Rendon, who's my eight hitter, able to uh, smash one here. I don't know. I, sometimes people just aren't thinking, and I, I've been guilty of this myself. When you got the pitcher on deck. And you got a pretty decent eight hitter there. Sometimes it's just better to, to give that guy crap for the first couple pitches and hope that he's not sitting on something. You know, I do that a lot, and I'm able to rope into the gap here with Kinsler right on it. But I was I was just late, so I'm able to put one in the gap. I guess that's what happens sometimes if your if your PCI placement is really good, which it was perfect on like all those other ones. Even if you're just late, they'll give you something. I'm I guess I'm okay, somewhat okay with that. But I do feel it should needs to be toned down. Um, a bit. It shouldn't have been a, a double in the in the gap. Maybe a single to the opposite field would be uh, would be a better result out of that. To be honest with you, and Eric Harris, we're playing a little small ball here. I was able to steal through with Kinsler, and Harris was able to drive him in. Sometimes you gotta do that. That's what you gotta do to win. And we're up six nothing here at this point, and Jorge Posada. Oh my lord, do I love this card? This card is absolutely <laughs> freaking fantastic. And I power swung on this one too, and it was woof, oh. That was just delicious, guys. It was, like, freaking perfect. And this one I power swung on, too. And it was a really good swing. It was just, that you know, they had him shaded up the middle. They had that Gordon shift on. Gordon's fisherman uh, <laughs> switch. And he actually picked out his pitcher here for Freddie Freeman. He gets a pass Kinsler. But look at this. This poor bastard. I'm able to throw out Freddie Freeman at first base from right field. I would have been, like, super... Super salty if I was this guy. Like, and I've been in games like this before where it seems like I can't get anything going. This guy was just getting the crap out of the stick here. Hits this one off the bag and it actually winds up coming back into the field of play here. I don't know why he went for two, but he gets gunned down, man. He gets freaking gunned down. And that was that. It was like this guy just ran himself out of an inning. And in the very next uh, pitch, he, like I said, he wasn't waiting. And Ramirez, I don't know what the heck happened there. Maybe it's because it's a secondary position. He's really supposed to be a third baseman, so maybe that's why, but the ball just went under his glove. They get, they wind up giving a base hit, and uh, he's got Reggie Jackson here. Like I said, this guy pretty much swung it like first pitch every time, so I was trying not to throw him strikes. I was trying to make them close to the strike zone, but not actually making them strikes because he was just so damn aggressive. I was trying to take advantage of that, and uh, like I said, I'm, this guy was a World Series player. I was a little surprised, but that I, that I beat him, you know, well, spoiler alert, guys. Yeah, I win this game. Uh... <laughs> That I beat him as easily as I did. He does start to make a little comeback here, and I'm able to get the bunt over. Yeah, the bunting is awful in this game. I've gotten much better at it, but they need to do something because it's really hard to uh, bunt runners over. We got Tony Gwynn here. I really like this card. I just get on top of this, I guess. I thought I actually had a pretty good contact on that one, but he's got his uh, 97 gold Schmitty there, who's a fantastic fielder. He picks that up. So who's even up at bat here? Eric Harris here. I get, I, again, I get beat in. I get beat inside. Once again, I just rope one into the gap. I don't think those hits should be happening again. I feel like maybe those should be like singles, you know, over the second baseman's head. Not crap like that. I just try to show you guys all the uh, hits, and he's got Arenado here. This guy is a stacked team, guys. Really stacked team and a, and a really good player. I looked at the statistics afterwards. Like I said, he has like a like a 360 batting average, and he has like a 3-2 ERA in like the last season. So he's a really, really solid player. So, I don't, I don't know, maybe just he was having a bad game, and I was like, I don't really want to get beat by by Curtis Grandison here, I don't want to throw this, this guy a strike. So I was trying not to get anything in the strike zone, and uh, made a good pitch, and Steve did not cover the base, and he and <laughs> Eric Harris was not able to get over there in time, and I was like, okay, what's going to happen now? Like, I kind of felt like things were going to fall apart, even though I have a seven uh, run lead, and then <laughs> Griffey's able to just rope this one into the corner here. I wasn't afraid of him going home, and at this point, it doesn't really matter. I would just probably would have just thrown him at the third anyway, try to get N out if he did send him, because it, you know, you don't. You just, at this point, you're going to trade outs for runs this late in the game. But I do get my bullpen uh, warming up because I've seen some crazy crap ha happen in this game before, and I don't want things to get out of hand. Like all of a sudden, they get two runs, and they get four runs, and then I get my bullpen, and I don't even want to let it get close to that. I don't care about getting safe situations or anything like that. Because just like that in this game. He's able to hit a, uh, a two-run single right here with uh, Ian Kinsler. And just like that, you know, he's starting to make a game out of this. So I didn't want this to become a real game. So I brought in uh, 
Zach Britton to face uh, Reggie Jackson here because I was not going to give Reggie Jackson a chance to bring this game within like striking distance. I had said no way. If anything, he's going to have to bring in a pinch hitter. We're getting Reggie Jackson out or we're going to knock him out of this game. So he put Britton in. Uh, I don't know how the heck he was able to foul this pitch off. <laughs> I, I was shocked actually. He was he was just late. I thought I put it high enough in the, in the zone. But we're able to get him to strike out on this sl beautiful, beautiful slider by uh, Zach Britton who's actually a, a new card for me on the team. I've gotten relatively recently. I, li I like to have three lefties in my bullpen, so he's a really, really good card to have. And this is this uh, breakout Phil Hughes card, which is really, really good relief pitcher when he was on uh, the Yankees. I find this is probably, the in my opinion, this is the best Phil Hughes card. This is better than the uh, the Twins uh, flashback, in, in my honest opinion. He's a really good um, reliever to have. He, and his, his strikeouts are way better than the, uh, than the starting pitcher one. So I'm just not trying to mess around here, but I want to put the Hughes in to be able to get some of the uh, break, because he's the breakout one, get those breakout strikeouts for Drayback, because I am I need 14 more wins after this game, and like, I don't know, I think 50 more, 50 more strikeouts, but this is actually a beautiful pitch. I get people looking on this pitch all the time. I don't see enough people throw it in. It could be a really, really good pitch when somebody thinks that you're going to be uh, trying to, you know, get them to chase. Like, he was getting patient, and I think after that last strikeout, he was just like, no, nah, I'm done being patient. I'm swinging at everything. I'm pretty sure that was a power swing with Arenado here. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's down to his last out here with his creative player, which was named Jason Veritek. <laughs> so, which is funny. His, his player looks nothing like Veritek. He just hits a little uh, dinky ball out there. And uh, we got Corey Dickerson as the player of the game, guys. Do me a favor. If you did like this video, please like the video. Leave me some comments. And uh, hopefully subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon. Later.